What's going on guys? This is Tor Car and I'm finally back with another video. Today I've got for you a little CCBS bone uh, custom bone tutorial video. Uh, I did not expect to get uh, that many comments on my latest Instagram post where I showed off these bones and some asked how I did this so um, I figured I'm probably gonna do a quick video explaining because that would be um, easier to understand than uh, any comment or would be uh, better to look at at any co uh, than any comment. So yeah, the, the bones I'm talking about is the 3M purple bone, trans purple. I'm using this for a Makuta mock in the um, Ikimu size. And uh, these were not available in any sets, so I made my own. And then there are uh, these bones, two of these that I uh, am using f um, in the shoulder of my Nidiki revamp. And for both of these bones, uh, the part I was using is this one right here. And I wanted to uh, do two more of the gray ones. So um, um, since I'm gonna cut two more anyways, I figured I could do this as a video as well. So uh, yeah, uh, for two, uh, for both um, custom bones, I used this part. Um, once I cut off uh, with this, I cut off uh, right here these two connection points. Um, it takes a little force since these uh, CCBS bones are very stable. Um, so yeah, and then I uh, sanded down the, the ball joint in the middle to get that 3M bone out of there. Mm, but this is not what, I'm, what I want to do right now. Um, because I want to get one of these bones. And uh, what I do is, um, you see these, uh, these, these gaps right here. And what I'm going to do is use this, get in there, and try to cut it. It really takes some force. Um, but uh, yeah, if, if you ca can't do it alone, just uh, you know, ask your parents to help you with something. Um, all right. So now, if you've done that, you should, should have something that looks like this, which is quite ugly. Uh, the next step is to sand all that stuff down um, to get a functional functioning ball joint. I don't do a 10 out of 10 job every time. Uh, it, it still works if it isn't perfect. Um, but uh, the, the plastic is very hard. So the sanding can take a few minutes. Um, what I like to do is to uh, cut off some of the edges um, before I actually sand it. Like this. All right, and uh, looks now a little like this. And now I have to sand it. The sanding part is kind of hard sometimes because the piece is sm so uh, small to hold on to. Yeah, and in between the sanding, um, I'm gonna do two more this direction and this direction. Oh, that plastic dust is so annoying. <laughs> yeah, and then you gotta take uh, one of these knives and that's the point where you really have to be very careful um, because the plastic is really hard and it's not that easy to cut through. If you've ever done a custom uh, generation one mask with um, 
I don't know, uh, with the 2001 masks, they are really, really, really easy to cut through. Or the, the metro masks, really easy to cut through. But this plastic is way harder. So you gotta be very careful. And what I'm gonna do is, you see that there's uh, still uh, a little kind of, uh, it, it's, it's not really a, a sphere. It's not really a ball joint. And there are these kind of edges. Um, if you just put your knife uh, next to it, don't use any force, but if you if you uh, move it along, um, you will notice that it gets stuck somewhere on this kind of edge where the connection was to uh, to well to the rest of the CCB S bone that we cut off. And you're gonna start at this edge, and just like your, uh, yeah, you just doing uh, in, in very small steps, cutting off small layers of that CCBS plastic. You gotta be very careful so you don't um, cut in your thumb. So, and if you've done that, like all the way around, um, let me do a little correction right here. Um, you have to sand it another time. So, n I don't know if you can see this, but now the edges are smaller. Now we can sand it again. You might notice in between, I always uh, stop and take a look at it to see which side is um, needs to be sanded the most to get it into kind of a, the, the spear, uh, not the spear, the sphere or the ball joint shape. It would already work like this, but I'm uh, still worried about those edges. They would uh, stretch all the bionic parts if the ball joint was already used. So I'm gonna repeat this step uh, with cutting off from the edges to the uh, middle point of the, of the ball joint. Well, not to the middle point of the ball joint, but to the uh, middle point of the top right here. All right. Gonna take another sanding. And it's, uh, yeah, well, it's pretty much done. And I'm um, gonna do the, the next thing, uh, and do it in, another time with the, with the next CCBS bone. Um, and that's basically it, it's, it's not that hard. Um, but I uh, figured I would do a little custom tutorial anyways. I hope you guys liked it, I hope it helped, and uh, well, I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.